<laughs> hey, hey, plumbing pros. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the morning workout. Hello. With the lovely Laura. And the million dollar plumber. Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, All right, we got our workout on. We did. Up before the sun to get it done uh -huh. on the snowy. Snowy, boo, snow. Hey. Does anybody really like snow? I mean, seriously. I'm like, you know, I have a screensaver on my phone here, and it popped up as we're getting, getting ready to do this, and it's you, you know, and next to the ocean, and the warmth, and it's sunny, There's and a palm blonde tree. hair against the palm tree. It's like, oh, my uh, my happy place. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. How you doing this morning? Good morning, everybody. How's everyone doing? Yeah. So this morning, working out, Yeah. I was um, decided to do, go old school. Old school? Old school. What do you mean? Well, we used to, um, our favorite music used to be country music. We were big country music fans, mostly because um, the Million Dollar Plumber um, attempted to have a career in country music because he's an amazing singer and guitarist and all those things. Um, but anyway, nice, back in the day. It worked on you. I just totally worked. Sucker. <laughs> <laughs> so this would have been 25, 26, 7 years ago. Wow. Um, anyway, we really liked country music and we still like it now, but I mean, that was our main main thing that we liked. So I'm doing old school this morning. We were young. We were so young. Free. Right. And now so we're young. younger and freer. <laughs> so anyway, I'm listening to some old school country music. Old school. Right. Good country music. And country um, music was country music. My country music was country music. Yep. <clears throat> don't judge. So the song if that... If you do, we don't care. <laughs> that's true. That's also true. Um, the song that came on was by Diamond Rio. Anybody remember I mean, Diamond, Rio? Diamond Rio? I don't think they're around still. I'm going to assume they're not. They're I don't even dead. know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this song was called In a Week or Two. And it was a song we really, really liked when we were dating. So, yeah. you know how you've got a song when you're dating. It wasn't our song, but you know, have a song when you're dating and it kind of takes you back and made me think, oh. What was our song? Um, our yeah. song is a Garth Brooks song called Shameless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so we anyway. Were shameless. <laughs> We still God, are. I'm never gonna get through this story. Okay. So okay. So what happened? So then, so then, um, you came and got me. You know, I, you were done working out, and you came over where I was at, and I'm like, oh, I want you to listen to <clears throat> the song that I'm listening to. So I took one of my ear ear pieces out and gave it to him, and um, I'm like, do you remember this? And he's like, oh yeah, and I'm smiling. I'm like, you know, back when we were young and you know dating, and just brought back good memories. And he's like, yeah, you know, it reminds me of plumbing businesses. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, what? I'm like, I'm talking about when we were all romantic and dating, and you're like, wah, 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 wah. So how does this relate to a plumbing business? Well, I just said it was in the, you know, the, the chorus, in a week or two. Yeah, so in the a song, week or two, the song I was going to bring you flowers in a week diamonds. or two. Diamonds. I was going to bring you bad. diamonds. Um, so yeah, it's a song about in a week or two, I was going, in, the, was, in our love relationship, I was going to do these things. I was going to bring you flowers. I was going to bring you diamonds. We were going to run away together. We were going to do all these things in a week or two. Right? right, so he always put it off, and before he knew it, she's uh, gone because uh, she's like, "I'm out. You're taking too long to give me diamonds and roses." And, and that's what happens with the plumbing businesses. So that's I sadly, where we see went. That all the guys are living in that. You know, in a week or two, in a month or two, when when it's the perfect time, mm -hmm. I'll get the other truck. When I when I have guys, I'll get the other truck. Mm -hmm. When when I I'll, you know I'll get a you know when uh, I have more when, money. When I, Right, when I have more money, when I have more calls, when I have more, when I'm more in a week or two, in a month or two, it's gonna be better. And they never move forward. They never ever move forward. And so you die, you literally die on the vine. Mm -hmm. And on the other flip side, you know, we talk, we have guys, you know, with, with our, our private clients and even guys we'd rather we talk to or worry about how fast they're going. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not going fast enough. Yes, sir, they're going too fast, yeah. Right. Because it's a lot. Right, because you are doing a lot of stuff. You gotta, you gotta fall forward. You know, winning's a fast game. Okay, you got you got to throw it out there, and it's you know is everything going to work out the way you want it? No, probably not. Uh, that, that's life. Mm -hmm. But you're falling forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, and mm -hmm. so that's what what it's all about. I mean, we know that we instinctively we know that it's in it's in our culture, our, it's songs. In our songs. We 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 get it that, um, but there's just this. You know, but I'm pretty sure the song didn't have anything to do with money businesses. I. I think subconsciously they were speaking they were to plumbing about business them. owners. Okay, but they were making it palatable, palatable, you know, something for... relatable. You know, making it using a metaphor of the relationship. But that's what it is. It's a relationship. 
All right. So that stop waiting a week or two. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go out and get that truck right now. Mm. Go out and buy a new truck. Don't wait till oh, I make sure I have enough calls. Should I, you know, it's it's the blinking and the, you know, the dimming right. the headlights. Mm. Just aren't doing it. Well, and also, that's how, like, you, that's how you get hit hit upside the head, knocked out. So what we talked about with one of our clients yesterday was, um, is when you get a new truck, then it also is the mindset. It kind of changes. It kind of go from an older, rundown type of truck to a newer truck. Your mindset changes, and it puts you in a whole new frame of mind of, of winning and forward and right. all those things. Oh, when so, I'm a big company, whatever big company is, right. then, then is I'll it? have new trucks and, right. and good equipment and that kind of stuff. No. No. You know? No, no, no. You got to do it now, okay? Mm -hmm. Right now. Right now, today, this very day. Okay. Because don't wait it, a week it gets or two. you it gets your mind. That's the thing. You're don't don't wait for the week or two mm -hmm. because tomorrow never comes. That's another That's you know, another song. All right. Mm -hmm. If you know, if tomorrow never comes. Right. Who's that by? Huh? Right. Huh? That's a cold country song. <laughs> <clears throat> so it's oh it's gosh. all that it's all that kind of stuff. They're, they're, those are just those are just universal laws. I mean mm -hmm. it's just, just how it is. And these laws work in your plumbing business. So you gotta push forward, be comfortable being uncomfortable. Don't wait for the week or two. You gotta push forward, okay? So do it, all right? <laughs> um, if your butt's in the truck, you know, you, you, are you, if you're a year in um, your plumbing business and your butt is still in the truck most of the time, you're a dead man plumbing, okay? You're, you're, you're gotta you're, make big moves. You gotta make moves. Mm -hmm. um, if, you know, if, if you're three years in, two years in um, even, and you're still, um, certainly if your butt's still in the truck, and you still can't leave, like you're still running operations, you're a dead man plumbing. It, it doesn't matter, okay, all right, you made a million dollars this year, but that, that's, that's gonna be here, here and gone. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you can't, you know, you won't be able to leave, okay? Right. And it's because you're not doing the things. You're, you're not playing, making big moves. Right, you're being safe, mm -hmm. all right? Okay. So that's what I thought, and that's what okay. I want for you guys, okay? You gotta push it. You, wanna, you know what the secret sauce is? What? Push forward, all right? Be comfortable being uncomfortable. That's the secret sauce. That's it. That's it, man. Mm -hmm. Mic drop. Uh, right. Okay, so for those those of you who are going to be in Indianapolis next week for the wet show, please look for us. We'll be there roaming around somewhere. We don't have a booth or anything, but we'll be there. Um, and other than that, we out. I think we're about out of here. Anyway. Hope you guys are all having a great day. All right. If, mm -hmm. you, if you're still in the truck, you know, plumb safe. Mm -hmm. Okay. And continue to plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.